everyone. I hope y'all are having a really good night so far. I'm going to do a bit of a different video tonight. Tonight I wanted to go over some ideas for new moms that have just given birth to their babies or are about to and give you some ideas on something that would be a little bit of a comfort gift to give the newer expectant mom in the hospital just to kind of pamper her and make her feel good. And the reason I'm doing this video is that my niece is due with her sweet little baby in the morning and we are so excited she's going to be induced and we can't wait to welcome it into our family and just kind of shower them with love so I thought it would be nice to get her some things just for her because we've already done excuse me for a second there my phone is flipping out on me we've already done you know baby showers for RJ and got him lots and lots of goodies so I will link below the video to that if you want to check out some shower gift ideas but yeah the first item I'm going to show is what everything fits into, and I've already taken it out. And this was just from the dollar section at Target. And I thought this was cute because it's reusable. And she can, you know, get more use out of that than a disposable gift bag. So the first item that I got, nice little comfort item, are these slipper socks. And these are Valentine theme, but I thought they were just cute because they have cupcakes on them. And you can really just get, find them any time of the year at Target. And the thing I like about these is they have textured grips, the little hearts, on the bottom. So that way if she gets up to go to the restroom in the hospital, she's not going to slip on the tile floor there. Okay, whoops. The next item that I got her, speaking of hospitals, it can be a little dirty sometimes, is some hand sanitizer, and this is in Atomic Apple, and it actually smells really good. So, I think hand sanitizers are always a good thing to have. Next, I got her some lotion, and this is the Johnson's Body Care. It's for adults, but you could use it for really any age, I think. And this is the Melt Away Stress Lavender and Chamomile Lotion. So I figured this would be good if her skin gets dry or she gets a little stressed out. Maybe it'll help soothe her just a little bit. The next item that I got her is chapstick. And the reason that I got this is the last time one of my other nieces had her baby. This was several years ago. I specifically remember how dried out her lips were. And I was giving her some of my chapstick trying to make her comfortable. So I thought I would go ahead and get her some just in case her lips get dried out before she goes into labor or after she wants to use that to make her more comfortable. The next item that I got her is just a little tin of Altoids. If she wants to freshen her breath or just have a nice mint. Okay. The next item is for apples the baby's born, not before. And these are just some really nice gourmet chocolates. And I think it would also be a good idea too, I didn't have time tonight, today it was just crazy, to make like a little snack bag with maybe some healthy snacks like almonds or organic fruit chews, things like that that the mom can snack on that's healthy and it's not going to spike their blood sugar or do anything crazy. The next items I think are a necessity, and they're just ponytail holders or hair ties, whatever you like to call them. I like the ones without the metal on them because they're not going to rip hair. So these are good if she's going into labor and she needs to put her hair back or whatnot. The next items I'm going to show are all wipes, but they're for different purposes. So the first ones are the Kleenex. Flash and go moist wipes and these are for a hand face just kind of all over your body so if she wants to freshen up a little bit I thought these would be nice she might want to freshen up while she's there the next ones are specifically for her face so it's a little bit more gentle and delicate and these are just the Pond's original fresh wipes and a lot of the items that I'm showing you can purchase in the travel section at Walmart and Target where they have the little sample size things and I think those are perfect for a little gift bag. Now if you're making one for your wife or someone and they haven't packed a bag for whatever reason, say they go there and they have the baby early, you know, it's kind of spur of the moment. If you want to make a little care package after the fact, I think it would be good to include like a dry shampoo, toothpaste, toothpaste floss, things like that, deodorant. But since she's already got a bag packed and I, and I know some of the things that are in there, that's why I'm showing certain things and doing a little bit different than that. The next item is really the only one that I picked up for the baby because I've already gotten them so much. This is just the Johnson's Hand and Face Wipes. And these are alcohol-free, no more tears. And these are for the baby. 
And I thought these would be good, especially to have in the hospital if he spits up a little bit or his nose is running. I thought these would be good for her to just easily clean his little face with. And the last items I typically wouldn't mention in one of my videos, I don't typically show feminine items, but since my sister asked me to pick these up for my niece, I thought, you know, what if there's a frantic father that somehow stumbles across this video and he doesn't know what to get his wife? So I thought just to help you guys out if you're watching, these might be a good suggestion if your wife needs you to go to the hospital go leave the hospital and pick up some feminine items for her. Maybe this will help you know what to buy. So the first items that I got her are always maxis. And I got the strongest protection I could find. And these are just the overnight extra heavy flow with leak guard and wings. Guys, always get the wings. They're important. So this is just the strongest ones that I could find. So hopefully that will be helpful. And then since sometimes if you have a baby naturally and you're trying to push, you can develop hemorrhoids. I got her, talking to my sister, I got her some hemorrhoid cream just in case. She might not need it, but you never know. And then I also got her some of the wipes as well. So, And then last but not least, it wouldn't be a gift without a nice card. And I like to get the ones that hold a little bit of meaning. So I got her a nice little card and I'm just gonna fit everything back into the bag and wrap it up for tomorrow. So yeah, that is what I picked up for my niece tomorrow. And oh, goodness, I'm forgetting two of the most important things, goodness. <laughs> Since she is being induced and it might be a while before she goes into labor, she may either want to nap and rest, but if she can't rest or get comfortable, I thought it'd be nice to have a little distraction for her in the form of some reading material. So I did pick up Parents Magazine, which is really the only child-related magazine that Target had today. I was kind of surprised there wasn't more of a baby-themed one or pregnancy-themed, but this was really the only one they had. And then if she wanted something, just a complete distraction, something a little girly, I did get her Cosmo, too. So... I think reading material is good. She might be there for a couple days. So I think most of the time she's going to be spending, obviously, with RJ. But if she wants a little break or if she has some downtime, I thought a magazine would be nice to throw in there. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. It is not typically what I do in my videos, but I'm super excited for my niece and to meet my little great nephew. And I thought this would be a fun video to film. So I hope you all found this helpful, and I will see you in a new one. Bye.